what's up guys it's lauren gray and today i thought i would do kind of a back to school workout routine slash haul this video is sponsored by victoria's secret pink so thank you guys for sponsoring this video it's the back to school season so i wanted to show you guys some comfy clothes that i love that you can study in or wear on campus and feel comfortable and cute at the same time. And Pink also has a lot of cute active wear that I'm going to be showing you when we get into the workout routine. But first, I'm gonna show you some comfy clothes that you can wear during the school season. So the first outfit that I have is the outfit that I'm wearing right now. This is the College Crop Crew and Heather Charcoal. And you guys know I love gray outfits, so this was right up my alley. And I also have the Premium College Slim Campus Pant on, that is a long name. So it's a matching set and it's super comfortable, super cozy, and I actually got my top in a large and my pants in a small so that the top fit a little bit oversized. So yeah, very cute, very comfortable. Next item that I have is the Bling Campus Crew, and this is the California one, but they have all different um, cities, which is really cool. And I also got this in a large because, again, I like wearing things oversized. I love the fit, and I love the sparkly details, because I love sparkles. I love to shine like the stars. <laughs> Next, I have the Campus Joggers, and these are in the color Pure Black Wash. Pretty close to gray. They're supposed to be like a black, black wash. That's literally what the name says. <laughs> so they're super soft on the inside, which is something that I look for when buying sweatpants. And I also like that all these sweatpants cinch at the bottom, so they're joggers, which is really nice. And you could also work out in these if you wanted, um, or they could double as something comfy to wear while you're studying or just chilling with your friends. Okay, so next I have the high waist cargo jogger, and these are black. They also cinch at the bottom, which I love, and they have these little pockets right here to put all your items in, all your things, all your special little gadgets and gizmos <laughs> can go in these pockets. And uh, there's a drawstring so you can make them tighter. Lots of pockets to store all of your items. Next item. So next we have the Bling Classic Pant and these have a really cute little sequin detail, kind of like the Cali sweater. They're pretty baggy, which I like because I like having room for activities. And these ones I got to say New York because I wanted to switch it up and also I love New York. So this is the matching sweater. It's the Bling Perfect Raglan Full Zip. And this one's different because it zips up, which is nice. So you can wear like a, like a crop top underneath it or a tank top and wear it off the shoulder or you could zip it all the way up. This one's nice for like a walk in the park or if you wanna stunt on everybody at the gym or if you're like me and you do school at home, it's great for chilling and studying at the house. So, so that is all for the comfy clothes that I have and now I'm going to move on to my workout outfit and show you guys my workout routine. So now moving into the workout clothes, I have the Ultimately Lightly Lined Sports Bra and this one is in black, and I'm also wearing one that's black and white, which I will show you guys when I'm doing the workout routine. But I like these because they're not too padded, but they're padded enough. And they have adjustable straps, so you can adjust it however you want. Very breathable, very fun, fresh workout gear. And then to pair with the sports bra, I have the Ultimate V Legging. I like the material for working out because they don't slip down and they are pretty stretchy, so they're good for all the workout things that you're gonna be doing to stay fit during the school season. They have the pink um, logo right here, which is nice, and they also come with little pockets, so you can put all your trinkets in the pocket. Now that I have showed you guys all of the clothes that I have in front of me, let's jump into the workout. Okay, so now it's time to jump into the workout, and I'm calling this a back-to-school workout because it's super simple, super quick. You could do it anywhere. I'm gonna be running on a treadmill, but if you don't have a treadmill, you can run outside, you can run on a track, you can run up and down your stairs, whatever you wanna do. So this is gonna be super quick and super easy, and I am wearing my Victoria secret pink leggings and sports bra and sweatshirt oh also typically I wouldn't wear a full face of makeup when I'm working out but because I have somewhere to go after this and I'm not actually going to be doing my full workout because I'm just filming it I am wearing a full face of makeup because I want to look pretty anyways okay let me stop talking let's get into it <laughs> So the first thing that I do is run on the treadmill and I typically run between 20 and 30 minutes and I do two to three miles. So I run on about 6.5 speed, which is kind of a step above jogging. So it's like a, 
It's a run, but it's a light run. It's not an intense run. Or I'll do intervals where I run for 30 seconds or I run for a minute and then I walk for two minutes or I walk for a minute. Just depends on how I'm feeling. Um, but I do think that interval workouts are just as effective as a straight run. So if you're not going for distance, interval workouts are the workout for you. So typically I rotate between legs, abs, and arms. I do abs every time I work out, but I don't necessarily do arms and legs on the same day, so typically I'll rotate. So today I'm gonna be showing you a leg workout. I'm gonna be doing 20 regular squats, 20 sumo squats, and 20 lunge pulses, and I'll rotate through those. So I'll do each one 20 times, and then I'll rotate and do it three times of each thing. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. Sometimes I'll use weights. I have five pound weights that I use every now and then if I'm trying to make it a little bit more difficult. You can also use resistance bands and things like that to kind of amp up the workout. But if you're a beginner or you're going for a lighter workout, you can just do it without the weights. Completely normal, totally fine personal preference. The next thing I like to do for cardio is jumping rope. Jump rope is so fun and it's such a good cardio workout so typically I'll go outside to do that because I don't have enough space in my living room to do it. So I'll go outside in my driveway and jump rope for two minutes and then I'll you know take a break and then jump rope again and do that three or four times until I'm feeling good about it just to get the heart rate going again. Another workout that I really like to do is I like to take my weight. You can find super inexpensive workout equipment. All of my stuff I got for five dollars or less. I got my kettlebell for five dollars and it's you know a five pound it's a ten pound kettlebell and I also like to do squats with those where you squat down and then you swing it up as you're squatting that's a good arm workout as well so it's like a like a two for one. So now we'll move into abs and if you have a carpet at home that's perfect. I also have a mat because all of my floors in my house are hardwood so I got myself a little yoga mat. I kind of do the same thing that I did with the leg exercises I do with the abs so the same kind of cycle. So first I start out with some leg raises so you just lay flat on the floor and lift up your legs six inches put it back down lift them up put it back down and I'll do 20 of each exercise so 20 is kind of my magic number when it comes to working out. So I'll start with leg raises and then I move into, some people call them flutter kicks or scissor kicks, but basically you just move your legs <laughs> like this in a chopping motion. And you kind of keep them six inches off the ground, the same thing you did with the leg raises. And you can also do them horizontally like this. So that one's pretty good too. So crunches, I'll do 20 of those. And then for the last part, I'll do some bicycle crunches where you alternate to each side. And you can also do this with a weight. <laughs> and if you don't want to lift up your legs if it's too difficult or it hurts too much, um, you can put your legs on the ground and just do Russian twists. And you can do that with a weight or no weight. But the most important thing is to make sure that you're leaning back so that your abs really get all the all the works. Engage your core and work those obliques, girl. So if you want to get that booty popping, you could do some leg lifts. Basically, you get on all fours and you just alternate your legs and you lift them in the air behind you. And I usually do 20 reps of that as well. And you can do that three times. Most of these things I cycle in sets of three. So I'll do 20 reps and I'll do it three times all the way through. So technically you're doing 60 reps of each thing. But you can always adjust that to fit you. Another workout that I really love is fire hydrates and it's sort of like leg lifts but it works some different muscles. So it's basically the same concept except you lift your legs out to the side like a dog. We in on the fire hydrant. <laughs> and to finish off the workout, I love doing a nice minute long plank to finish off the workout strong, get it over with, one minute plank, you just set a timer on your phone and hold it. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, this try on haul slash back to school workout routine. Thank you so much again to Victoria's Secret Pink for sponsoring this video. All of the clothes in this video are from Victoria's Secret Pink, so if you want to check out their campus collection, it'll be linked down below. So let me know how these workouts work out for you. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Make sure to leave a like. Subscribe and comment down below what you want to see next. I love you and I'll see you next time. Mm. I'm just working out. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that stretch. Gotta get that stretch. I'm actually the most unflexible person. Dude.
says the girl who's a cheerleader. Yo, big up, blow up. <laughs> Engage your core and work those obliques, girl.